<laughs> Where does somebody buy CT spam traffic? Uh, well, I mean, I use Viper Tools, which is Michael Bowe's um, products, uh, but then also Google Ads. You can you can you you can run traffic with Google Ads, guys. I've taught that for years uh, with the Display Network. It's really cheap. I mean, I've got campaigns as I set up for like you know as little as a dollar or a dollar fifty per day. The average cost per click for most of my campaigns is about 25 cents. So you can get four to six clicks per day on a dollar to do it to a dollar fifty with targeted geo-targeted traffic from especially if you buy it from an in-market audience or a life event audience. Those are audiences predefined like buckets, right? That Google has placed real Google users in because it has determined or deemed that uh, they're likely in market for whatever the, you know, whatever segment you, you select. And those tend to work really, really well. So you either need to have a CT spam tool. There are several of them out there. Uh, the one that I've been using for a few months, for several months now is Viper Tools. Uh, but you can also buy engagement signals direct from Google, which I feel has a, it tends to actually be a little bit more effective because it's real Google users with real Google profiles attached to them, especially if you can find an in-market segment uh, because Google knows that those people are, are likely in market for the product or service that you're um, you know, going to be advertising to them. And so I think those clicks are weighted a lot heavier than uh, like a CT spam bot click would be, right? So have you have you played around with that much yet, Brock? CT spam stuff? Yeah, so I, like uh, just like a CT CTR bot. Yeah, 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 yeah. I use a CTR booster still. It's been great for like the past year and a half, two years. Okay. Um, I've always thought about using Viper. I've heard some things about that. I was like, I wanted to try, and then I was intrigued. Um, somebody because of the google profiles i think the google profiles are they're like logged in when you do like youtube views or whatever mm -hmm, yeah um, really wanted to like try some tests on that as well now i really i like the idea of everybody kind of sharing and like actually using real ips and real computers to a degree right um for the ctr traffic and instead of just trying to use like some rotating residential ip yeah. proxy or something um but i just never got around to it. I actually talk to them a couple months ago, I was going to sign up and then something happened and I just got busy. Um, well, you should. He's a good guy. And uh, like you said, he's got a he's got a really good group and his tools. Um, they're 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 good. They've been working for I started messing with it in fe February. The first few months they were buggy. I've said this publicly before. Michael knows, <laughs> but that they, they were buggy. So it was a bit frustrating at times. But the last couple of months have been really stable um, and working really, really well. Um, and guys, it's not a be all end all like you know, CTR or manipulating click through rate is not going to be like ranked. If you're not doing on page and, and do, you know, if you don't check all the boxes that you should normally check, it's not going to help. Right. You, you have to still do all the other stuff. I think a lot of people, they, they think it's a magic bullet. Like they're going to get these CT bot tools and, and they're just going right. to start ranking shit everywhere. And it's just not really the case. You have to you still have to do all the on page stuff and everything else. And where I find them to be the best. Um, and I, I just did a webinar with Michael's group. Um, I think brand searches are one of the most powerful features of doing that because it's basically it's a great signal to Google when people are searching for a uh, company by brand name, uh, by name, especially for local businesses. So brand searches are really, really effective and in referral traffic. So running traffic like I love to run traffic through press releases, uh, patch art, uh, announcement posts, uh, classified announcement posts, um, citations, uh, you know, anything like that. GMB posts, we set up traffic. So that, and it's great because. I get those emails all the time that says, congratulations, your post's been viewed, you know, 37 times. Uh, your post has been clicked, you know, 12 times. And that's a lot of that CTR <laughs> spam <Right>. traffic. <laughs> you know? we, did, we did this good CTR work this month. Yeah. Yeah, but I mean, it works, so. No, it does. Brand traffic is huge, I think. And I think it's gotten a lot more weighted this past year as well. So brand plus hours, directions, right? Yeah. Uh, I totally agree with you on that. Navigational search queries. So yeah, and I, I just did, a webinar last two weeks, two weeks in a row, I did a webinar specifically talking about that. And yeah, exactly right. So brand, you know, company name, company name, phone, company name, contact, company name, location, company name, hours, uh, domain.com, like whatever their domain is, like yeah. all those types of searches and in clicks. So search and click, right? Those, those types of signals are fantastic. And I mentioned this before, but I actually learned about that from Ivan Budimir back in 2011. He was he put, brought up a patent that I think was approved in 2008. And it was called, he called it the Google Site Weight Patent. And it was like, this was way back in 2011, guys. And they were talking about if you had two identical sites that were optimized identically, both on page and off page, which I know is theoretical, but 
the idea here is that the way that the, the and he had the diagrams from the patent and everything shown. And it was talking about if one of those sites has more navigational search queries, which like branded searches, than the other, that one will always outrank the other because it's more authoritative, right? It means people are seeking that brand by name. And, um, and so way back then, before there were tools for that, we used to use microtask workers um, and you, would, you know, Mechanical Turk and microtask.com and a lot of these different type of microtask sites where we would you know, say, okay, go search for this keyword, then find this URL and then highlight, uh, copy the you know, 18th word in the third paragraph and paste it in the answer box. And what that would do is they'd go do a search find a URL, click it, and then they would have to spend some dwell, you know, some time, some dwell time on the page and some scroll depth to find that one word and then paste it in the answer box. And all of those were engagement signals. And that's how we used to manipulate that way back in like 2011. No shit. And it worked like a mat, like sometimes overnight, you would see significant jumps in ranking from doing that. And then, you know, over the years, people developed some tools and now you can do it with Google display ads. It's, it's super easy. So yeah, you can do it with uh, Facebook, too. We've done a yeah. lot with Facebook as well. Uh, yeah. Same thing. What's good is if you know how to build, you know, URLs, you can control, like, the search query. And, Suggest. You know, yeah, you can go, like, the you know, like build the URL. So instead of just sending them to, like, your GMB, you can send them to a search query. Or, like, if they typed in, like, car or, like, um, tree or, like, tree cutter near me or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> no, probably not even a keyword. Yeah. Um, Right. So you're controlling all that. And then you just let the natural data, like their GPS location or altitude or whatever, all the other stuff that Google keeps is just going to be, you know, you know, yeah. they're naturally plugged in. But no, that's, that's a great Google display is really good. Uh, cheap. Crap. It is. It's super cheap. And I've, I've never run Facebook ads because I just really hate Facebook. <laughs> I really have no desire to do that either. But um, I know it works from Facebook as well. But you're right. You can manipulate search strings and uh, even force um, brand names to appear and suggest next to uh, generic keyword searches, which is amazing. Um, I've done that a number of times, and that's that's pretty cool too. So, getting the uh, keywords, uh, Google suggests keywords yeah. to populate. Yeah, yeah, that is cool. 